Downtown Sioux Falls saw an abortion rights rally this afternoon. Kelly Lanzone Ortiz was there to learn about the demonstration, and she also spoke with South Dakota Right to Life's executive director. Advocates with ACLU of South Dakota and Planned Parenthood organized today's event. We are at a historical moment where um, half of the country has lost a constitutional right, and our state is one of the most hostile states to abortion rights. People are angry, and they have a right to be, and so we just decided, like, why not join forces? put together a march and, and make it happen. The rally took place at the Minnehaha County Courthouse. We are bound together in this fight. Speakers from Planned Parenthood, ACLU, South Dakota Urban Indian Health, Sioux Falls Pride, and the Transformation Project spoke about their worries and plans. After the rally, demonstrators moved to Van Epps Park, where organizers shared information about resources and causes. But we just wanted to make, uh, make some noise get loud, use our voices, but then keep it really peaceful and, and just join together and talk about how we can uh, make this movement a better, better space for most people. South Dakota Right to Life Executive Director Dale Barcher shared his reaction to rallies for abortion rights. Those who oppose our U.S. Supreme Court's decision on June 24th have every constitutional right to peacefully protest, but South Dakota Right to Life will not be involved in any counter rallies across the state. He says his organization plans to keep working toward their goal. In the meantime, we will continue to fulfill our mission of defending innocent human life from conception to natural death as we look forward to the day when elective abortion is both illegal and unthinkable in our great state and across the nation. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Abortion is now illegal in South Dakota with one exception, to save a pregnant person's life. This weekend brought the 